Welcome back to the Papa Me channel. How you doing? How you doing? Sorry if it sounds kind of reverby. I'm in between houses right now. I'm moving. It's a whole thing. You know how it is. It's terrible. While I'm trying to get back into the work groove of things, I thought to myself, you know what? It's another time that I draw some of my beautiful <laughs> viewers, specifically my patrons. If you want to join the Patreon to support the channel, please do. And uh, maybe I'll draw you one day. Yeah, it's a fun community, so check it out. But let's get started. <laughs> All right, here's number one. Number one is a, is, a, is a, he's a fun pool boy. I enjoyed his face, so I decided to draw him. I don't know if it's a good thing to have your eyes open under water and chlorine. I think that the people said back in the day that they were like, oh, it's good for your eyes to open your eyes in a pool for chlorine. I don't know in my adult years that I believe that fully. I'm pretty sure chlorine has some bleach in it. I don't know, but you know what? He sacrificed it all for this photo. So for that, I, I appreciate it. I wanted to get his roundness. I, want, I liked how he was huggable. He was soft. He's hairy, very hairy. I added a little bit of armpit hair to my own creative discretion just because I thought that in the pool, you know, it's wispy, it's flowy, it's very nice. So I thought to myself, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and give him a little bit more hair than he probably has. I will say too though, people are gonna say, oh, why is one nipple longer than the other? Look at the photo, okay? Look at the photo. One of his nipples is longer. It's not my fault. It's probably just a perspective. I imagine the one that's, you know, a little more dead on with the camera is just as long, but it's an optical illusion is the thing so have to make the nipples long and nice and uh, suckable I would love to suck this man's- Hey guys, just want to take a second to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, Bad Dragon, baby! You've heard it time and time again. They are our favorite sponsor to work with. These guys are fucking amazing. This is for mommy and daddies only though. Or, you know, if you're 21 and up, I think, or 18. I don't know. If I, You know, if you're 35 and up, that's who this is for. Bad Dragon has been supporting the channel. They've been fucking amazing. And I just want to continuously give them a little shout out. They have been long-standing partners with the channel. So if you're in the market to spice up the bedroom a little bit, explore a little new things, do a little bit of this, do a little bit of that. These guys are fucking awesome. Really top tier products, great quality, and the company couldn't be fucking cooler. I love them so much. So please go to baddragon.com and, uh, you know, check out their stuff. It's very amazing. Only if you're a fucking age. Don't be an asshole. Thank you, Bad Dragon. I love you very much. Back to the video. Getting his eyes right, because his eyes are kind of scrunched up, was a bit hard, but I had a lot of fun drawing his head, his bulbous cheeks, his nice chin, his top of his hair that has a little pitter patter. It looks like a new garden. Trying to sprout some new life and I really appreciated about this little man, which I thought was nice I took some creative liberties as well and I made his arms a little skinny, but I just thought it was silly and funny I thought the skinny arms really accented his more robust round body with his cute little mole on the side of his belly So I thought that was nice. It kind of has like a little uh, homunculus. Is that what it's called? He's like a little creature in the water and I like that and he's taking a fun photo So he's, he's very fun to draw. I really enjoyed drawing this guy. You know my local pool people used to always people the kid died in it. So I haven't been back to a lot of local pools since then because I saw this kid drown in a local pool one time and uh, the whole time people were screaming and stuff. It was very sad because his mom never even showed up. She was standing in line at the little uh, cafeteria booth trying to get one of those microwavable pizzas. When she found out that her kid was dead, she still ate the pizza. I thought that just as a kid, I was like, that's that that felt kind of tonally deaf. I probably would have held off on the pizza. I don't know if I could have stomached any food. I mean, imagine going to, <laughs> imagine going to a pool. <laughs> Your child dies in front of you and you're just like, oh my god. I'm so sad. It just fell off to me. Here's the thing. If any of you, especially this viewer, he likes pools, obviously, you know, he's dipping, he's diving, he's having a good time. If your kid or somebody dies drowning in the pool, maybe don't eat something. I think the only acceptable thing to eat when your kid dies is a snow cone. Because it's kind of like drinking water in a way. I mean, you eat the ice, but you, I mean, if it was a snow cone, it probably wouldn't have been a core memory, but I haven't been able to look at frozen pizzas the same since, so. And bada bing, bada boom, a beautiful swimming lad. My my God, he is beautiful. On to the next one. Ah, yes. One thing that I found with these that everybody who submitted something is wearing flannel. Newsflash, dude. If you want to get drawn, don't fucking be wearing something that has that much tactile fucking patterns and stuff. Such a pain in the ass. So I'm gonna let you know right now, I am giving up very quickly on that. One thing that stood out with this is the prominence of the thumb under the chin. It has a lot of bend. Also, the thumb looks very long. So I was gonna run with that and maybe that and the nice hair, the kind of, uh, I don't know what kind of attitude she has with me. It's kind of this thing like, really? <laughs> 
Okay, fine, I'll take this picture. I like that, because a lot of people do goofy faces. They try really hard to make funny faces. Here's the thing, I just wanna draw you. Not you doing a funny face where you can be like, hey, look at that. I wanna draw you, the essence of you. But no, I took her hand and I made a giant. I love taking fingernails, like making them long, but I made her, her forearm absolutely massive. It's like fucking Paul Bunyan's forearm over here with her hand doing the same thing. I should have done more probably with the nose ring, but I kind of like the idea that it was just like really connected to this middle part of the, uh, I'm not trying to flip you off. It's connected to the middle part of the nose and just sucked in tight. But you know, sometimes like, I think last time I did a lot of big nose ring stuff. I didn't know nose rings were still so prominent. I had no idea. I thought that was like a David Drainham, the lead singer of uh, Disturbed. I thought that was like his thing. The two piercings here, then a nose ring. I didn't know nose rings were so popular. Belly button rings too. Do people still have belly button rings? I see people with pierced nipples, men and women alike, but belly rings, I still don't understand the appeal to that. I would be so nervous that it would rip off. The nipple ring especially, but man, belly rings, I don't know. Even a nose ring, does it get caught? Is there any plights with the nose ring? I'm not sure. I have no idea. I wish I knew. I tried doing the hair. I'm not very good at hair. You know what I mean? So it, this just kind of looks like a weird sherbet, like the weird, like frozen ice cream kind of thing. It kind of looks like that. Or it looks like, uh, I don't even know what the fuck it looks like. I, I didn't try very hard on that if I'm being completely honest. But you know, got her big eyes in there, her I don't give a fuck eyes, her gigantic Paul Bunyan forearm which I'm pretty sure translates to real life. Okay, let's be honest. I don't want to say that it doesn't, but come on. It looks like a nice little fun deal. I wish I could get nail extensions. And I know that I can, but it would just look goofy on me, dude. I don't, I'm not a, I'm not a man who could pull off big nails. I don't understand why people paint their fingernails still. Is that ignorant? The last time that people did that, it was like 2007. And it was scene music. And it was cool to be anemic. <laughs> that was the hip thing. Hey, dude, you want to not eat for three days? Yeah, man, that sounds awesome. <laughs> That's pretty much what it was like. And then it was a bunch of borderline 30 year old men singing like little girls and then screaming. You said you loved me, but you were wrong. I was always jealous of my friend too, because he was the guy who got all the pussy and I never got any. I just like Totino's party pizzas and cosmic brownies. Okay. On to the next one. Thanks for the memories. I love this photo, dude. This couple, I love this shit. This guy, beautiful him and his lady having a nice day. The, the, the nice wall of flower background. I just, this would be a frame of this, I, this is a picture secretly i'm gonna print this off and i'm gonna frame it and i'm gonna put it in my own house because even me and my wife we don't have pictures as good as this hey allison Let's see what Allison has to say about it. Everybody's saying that I talked to my wife wrong. You know what, dude? Try being with somebody for 10 years and then fucking come talk to me. Once you guys are done with your little fucking one or two month little relationships and you're with somebody for like 10 years, come fucking talk to me. Come look at this. Do we have any photo of us as good as that? Come here and say it into the mic so people can hear you. I ain't showered yet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't showered yet. No, we don't have any photos like that, Allison. You know how many times I've begged and pleaded for us to take photos by a floral wall? I feel like we've gone on vacations and you wouldn't even know that we went together. <laughs> I don't, I'm not a big photo taker. What am I supposed to do? I never asked. Well, there it is. I just wanted them to know because okay, I said you know that. What? Because I, pr I, I told them that I took this photo and I framed it in our own house for our own memories. This one? Yes. Because those people, I'm going to lie for the rest of time saying that I know these people. He's a cousin of mine. Because then at least I get to have some remnants of happiness on the walls of this house. Because all we have, shut up, cat. All we have are paintings of horses and like demons on her walls. That's like, that's about it. That's our family. That is our family. Is this a nice photo of them? I guess. What do you mean you guess? Look at them. Look how happy they are. I didn't do her justice with that yeah. smile. I just like him. Look at that. You know what he does have though? He has white walker eyes. Yeah. Fucking like, his eyes are all. Is any blue eyed person? Those are hauntingly white, like a like a ghost. What if their love story was that she's a paranormal investigator and he's a ghost? Would that not be the relationship of a lifetime? The way you drew her gives me the vibe that she's kind of like the honeycomb monster. <laughs> well, did you even like his his little hand I gave him? Look at his little hand. Yeah. That's a creative liberty. I'll be honest. That's a creative okay. liberty because in the photo, there's no his hand isn't there. I'll say that arm and hand was built just to hold her. <laughs> That arm and hand was made, baby, for me to hold you. Come on in here. <laughs> you know what? I bet I bet you, but they both give great hugs. He can only hug her with that hand. I'm going to tell him. I'm going to message him, and I'm going to say, you come hug my wife. I don't want him to hug me. No, you want him to hug you, and you're going to be like, and I'm going to say, she's going to say no, but that really that means I need attention. Her N-O is actually H-E-L-P. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, actually, I should have said her N-O is Y-E-S. I just don't like hugs, being honest. That's a lie you love hugs. From you. I hate when people, you go for a hand Whatever, hug. Allison. You, you know what? And they hug you instead, and you're just like, Ugh. People give me a hard time because they're like, oh, I don't like the way that Hunter talks to his wife. And then you say stuff like this. It's impossible. When is someone going to be on my side? No one ever is. Jono, the editor, are you on my side? All right, well, that's all I had to say. I was just curious. You know what? I didn't even get to talk about the drawing. I just, I had a great time. This is probably one of my favorite ones I got to draw because I was smiling the whole time. You want to know why no one's on your side? Why? It's the way you are. <laughs> you know, that's that's a cold, cold reality that I that I just faced right there. It's because it's the way I am. I think you moved because you killed your wife and you don't want anyone to know. Okay, that doesn't make any sense because you're standing right next to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> he does not look happy with this. All right, on to the next one. This man I enjoyed because I can't tell. I th he feels severely sunburnt or it's just a pasty white man. And anytime they take a shower, they just get very flushed. But I enjoyed the kind of bleached blonde hair. It's so bleached that it's almost orange. That's that kind of gold that I love to see. That's the kind of gold that them boys dug up in the mountains in the 1800s during the gold rush. Nice, long, long body. <laughs> just long. That's the entire... <laughs> That's the entire description that I'm giving of this whole thing. He's just simply long. There's nothing short about him. He's just a, I mean, even the perspective of this photo, like it's like he's, it's a bottom up photo, but it makes him look, look he looks massive in that bathroom. What does that sound? But with this guy, I just like to, his mustache is really full on the sides. I enjoy that. He has nice, big, kissable lips. And mwah, I enjoy that as well. But this guy, he was easy to draw. Nice, big, soft eyes. This is the same expression whenever his grandfather was dying. He's like, carry on the name, Jonathan. And he was just like this. Every event in his life, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. He drives down a family of three. He falls asleep at the wheel, kills a family of three, and when the cops talk to him, do you have any remorse? Look what you've done! That's the face he, he gives. You know what, in all honesty, I loved it. Might be another picture frame from the house. People don't realize that the patrons that send in these photos have a whole wall of framed photos of all of my people that get to, that get to live with me forever. Can you actually imagine if that was true? That'd be so creepy. Just like people come over, they're like, who is this? My family. It's my family. All of them. Every single one of them. My nieces and nephews. I'm not, we're not even that close. They're, you're my nieces and nephews. Okay, on to the next one. I really enjoyed this one. I like I like this one because it's so sassy. There's a level of deviousness with the look and then the color around the eyes and the bold red shirt and the top of the hair that looks like uh, with, with like a 90s boy band, like those ice tips. When are we gonna bring back ice tips? She has curly hair as well. She's kind of an example of how I would be able to pull off ice tips, but I enjoy the smile. I was trying to look about what what is it? What the hell's in the background of this photo? Enhance, enhance calculating oh my god okay if that's what you want to put on your walls feel free but this is another i, I had a lot of fun enjoy i, I like to doing this one nice big blue eyes with a nice little eye shadow around it i mean what else could do what else do you need you know what i mean what else do you need in life she knows exactly how good she fucking looks and she isn't complaining about it she's not gonna go up and rub it in people's faces because she already knows she knows that people know and that's the kind of confidence that one day i'm gonna have and that's gonna be probably a detriment to the world i would i would say detriment it's gonna be bad I don't know. I don't really know words. Thanks for sending in the photo. <laughs> this guy, I thought that he looked, I, I don't know why he was so hard to draw. He's so angular. I also can't tell if he's 17 or if he's 73. There's something mysterious about his age. His skin is tan, but it's also yellowish gray, like that of a zombie. Do I think that he's eaten someone before? Maybe. I feel like if he smiled, his t he would have two large front teeth on top, and then he would have 75 tiny teeth on the bottom. He kind of looks like the spokesman for like a cigarette company, Joe Camel or like a new like marble red man kind of thing. And after a while, I thought to myself, I'm like, no, this guy, he's just 85 years old, but he's taking such good care of himself and he probably eats people and absorbs their essence. And he's able to kind of live amongst his life. I mean, he, he, he's able to live amongst the people forever. I could not get, I couldn't draw this guy right. I tried my hardest. I was going back and forth with it for a while and I ended up just settling on this. I don't feel good about it. I hope that if he's watching this, I hope he enjoys it. He has a great set of hair. He's in what I could only presume to be a prison cell, and he has a very nice, clean white shirt, and I am jealous of that. And honestly, I, I just, I couldn't get it. I couldn't get it. You know what? I'm only human, dude. I'm only human after all. That meme? Remember when that was popular for, t like, uh, a day or two? What was the other meme that was popular for a day or two? I am a surgeon. 
Dr. Hung. We need this guy to be a meme. I'm sexy and I know it with the LMFAO music. Okay, I'm done with this. I'm sorry. I tried my best. All right. This is a really good photo. I love when people send me a couple photos and they're not. They're completely emotionless. I love it. First off, you have a giant bearded baby and then you just have uh, his accomplice next to him. Basically two porcelain statues. I couldn't get over how luscious and thick the lips of the man's were while well, how almost tiny the lips of the person next to him. The juxtaposition is crazy. I try, I'm trying to picture them even just giving it like, hey, see you later. Mwah. A little kiss like that goodbye. It must be very perplexing. I would imagine it, it must be very nice. But these are two porcelain dolls in a weird way. Two 1930s depression era dolls that are sitting here looking at me and I had the most fun drawing them. It was very, very fun, especially his little Superman curl. And I know he doesn't naturally rest like that. I know and I can confirm this. I feel like he's gonna comment in the video below. He's gonna say, that's right. I did do this up for the video. You're correct. And I mean, I, it, it's just, it's great. He has the nice thick eyebrows. I like when people have nice thick eyebrows where it's like, you can tell the muscle under their eyebrows is like protruding out. And it's like a strong burrowing brow. I love that. Also her cold emotionless face goes so well next to his supple, warm baby round face as well. They both have round, beautiful faces. So to capture the essence of this, it was like having a hug from your father, but it was also getting the cold shoulder from him at the same time. It was wonderful. I love these people. Another picture frame for the wall. I can't wait to tell people that these are my cousins. I don't even know if they're dating in this picture or not, but these are just my cousins in general. Yeah, these are my cousins. This is how they take pictures together. Hey guys, how's the new place? How's your mom doing? And then just send, they just send this over. <laughs> I feel like that would be pretty, it'd be pretty nice. I'm trying to even think about what background I wish I could have given them. Almost like a torture chamber. I feel like maybe they're the couple that's like, you find out, this is like a news clipping article that you find out that they were the people that like would kidnap people, hold them hostage for two or three months, cut them up, eat them. And then this is the photo that they get in the newspapers. And I think that's a good thing. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Thanks for sending in the photo. I like this guy. I like this guy because I know he took this photo on his break. He said, you know what? I'm going to send Hunter in a nice photo that he can draw with me. And he know he looked good. He was in the back room and he was just like, fuck it. I got my red shirt on my red. He probably works at the gas station. That's what I think. There's a chain out here in the Midwest called Quick Trip. And I saw that color and I was like, oh, I wonder if he's a Quick Trip employee. If he is, then that's a, that's a total fucking slam dunk on my part. But I like just how his cheeks were all flushed up. He looks giddy. Like he just looks like he's just happy to be here. He looks like the kind of guy on your shift. He doesn't say a lot of words. You might you might say that people on the shift are just like, he never speaks, but you kind of say some shit that you regret later because he's such a hard worker. Like at the beginning of your shift, he's like, why does he never talk? What's he hiding? What does he not want to get out? But then like he does all of the jobs for you and you're like, oh wow, Derek's a great guy. I don't think his name's Derek. I should have saved the photos with the people's names, but I didn't do it. But I don't know. I just like, you know, he has these big, big, beautiful cheeks. He has a big little schnoz on him. And I like, I'm a, I'm a fan of the schnoz. When people have tiny noses, it's just like, get the fuck out of my face with your tiny little nose. I see, I'm, my nose is nice and bulbous. It's like a goddamn clown nose. I don't know if you could hear the mucus in my... <laughs> Dude, can you guys hear that? Look at this. I'm like a clown. I'm fucking like a mucus clown. Like... That is disgusting. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I have allergies really bad and it's bad time for allergies right now. I don't know. He's beautiful. I liked his glasses, his whole composure. He's all flushed up. It was the same thing with the guy before the long boy. I just, I, when, you, when you're flushed, you got nice rosy cheeks. It's hard not to just smile because this person's full of life. The blood is pumping. The blood is flowing. It is fantastic. And I love this man. I love him. Look at him. I did make his, he didn't, he doesn't, he's not really smiling in mine. He's smiling in his photo and in mine, it does look like a police sketch. I don't, that didn't mean Okay, so those are, you know, I took some time and drew some people. Maybe I'll come back and draw some more. I don't know. I always have a good time. On our Patreon, we have people submitting photos for this. It's always a fun time in the Patreon comments, getting to see people who are like, oh, he drew me or, you know, people are talking. It's always fun. So I think I'll keep doing this in the future. I gotta be meaner though. I gotta I gotta try to make you guys into fucking horrible monsters, you know, because I, I, I try to compliment people too much and I'm a pushover. I'm a goddamn pushover, but not anymore. If you go and you sign up to the Patreon, patreon.com slash me, Kaden, free to submit a photo. I'll probably draw it. It's a great little community. You get behind the scenes stuff. And as I have an existential crisis over my channel and all that kind of stuff, it's always nice to be able to talk with you guys about the stuff that I'm working on. So thank you so much for watching today. I appreciate you here before too long. Our new set will be built and it'll be fantastic and excited to show you guys more stuff. Take care. Bye bye. Don't put the blame on me. Don't put the blame on me. Don't put the blame on, don't put, don't put the blame on me. Don't put the blame.
shame on me. <laughs>